Heroes, we look to improve Mafix technology to identify a person through the way they walk. A new fingerprint to help detect early signs of some injuries. A group of project management professionals, analysis modeling and simulation engineers, and data analytics apprentices from a range of companies and universities. So our challenge was to apply machine learning to the data collected by the Mafix system to see whether you could identify individuals by their gait. Um, the first problem was centred around data assurance and using sensor data to predict which individual was wearing each helmet. And the second part of the challenge was to use that sensor data to detect ailments within individuals from the way that they walk. Mafic provided us with their current data analytics platform where they're able to analyse individuals' activity levels and performance by applying machine learning to sensor traces and mapping these against activities. We decided that there would need to be two defined epics within the project. The first epic was centred around taking Mafix existing data and designing, designing a machine learning algorithm to be able to separate two, to, to be able to separate two individuals. The second epic focused on creating new data sets that would be used to test the algorithm in the later phases. Throughout this challenge, we collected a large amount of raw data within our experiments. Mafic helped with the processing of this data and provided up to us in four second chunks to be able to train our machine. The data collected from the helmets has eight different signals as shown in the image on the left, and it was up to us to decide which of these would help best differentiate between the two individuals. A feature is an independent variable that is measurable. To ensure an accurate model is created, the correct feature must be chosen to enable the machine learning model to identify between the variables, allowing the model to make its prediction and its percentage accuracy. An example of a feature is a horizontal movement. To investigate the features, we decided to use Python. So the first element was cleaning the data, so we chose the four most optimal sections of our data we collected, and then using a peak finding tool from one of the Panda functions, we were able to highlight all the peaks. Funnily than that, we wanted to highlight the most significant peaks, which are the ones you can see highlighted on the right with the orange crosses. These crosses then, we once we'd located these significant peaks, we decided to actually find the difference between them, which would give us the frequency of their walk. And then we compared these, we compared the averages of these between the three subjects, and we found there was actually a unique difference between the three of them. And this was this example you can see here. It's for the x direction. So the x direction is moving forward, and then here you can see the y direction, which is left and right. As you can see as well, these are the exact same. So they were all unique between the three subjects, and also you can see the graphs are quite visually different, more in these ones. And finally, here we have the z direction. So this is all the all the graphs relating to the up and down motion. We were able to successfully visualise our investigation and map individual walking traces onto an XY plot. The image on screen shows the decision boundaries for the three individuals and shows three distinct clusters of data points. We were successfully able to distinguish between the three individuals with 98% confidence in our test data, dropping down to 76% confidence later on when adding in some of the features into the model. To protect the individual's data, we're going to use a bottom-up approach where each level in the chain has less and less access to that data. We will use individual locked dashboards for the protection of pay and performance data relating to an individual and pseudonymized individual codes to protect that in individual at higher up aggregate levels. As part of the project, we've created a Power BI dashboard showing an example display of how our data can be used in the workplace. The dashboard allows the user to view an incident such as a trip or fall and look at the analysis of that event. The picture on the right shows the drill through of data and lets you look at whether the individual is suffering from an injury shown by the gait variance or whether they've been strained with their workload over the previous week, as well as incident details like the activity they are participating in and the time the event occurred display you're able to view your own productivity and health statistics as well as monitoring your predicted bonus and work effort for the week this brings together all of the features of the workforce and allows employees in real time to see the benefits gained from their efforts on site and look at analytics for when in the day they were scoring poorly this links in closely to the second question asked by the judges as they want to understand the usability of our solution 
we envisage the identity confirmation algorithm being a back-end product with only the gate analysis being visible to the workforce and individual dashboards as it serves as a much more of a security based feature on the screen we've listed a few of the advantages of the dashboard but in summary we think this will help considerably with fair remuneration for individuals effort and help provide some evidence-based feedback to the employees on their performance and productivity on site something which is traditionally very difficult to monitor in a construction scenario throughout the project we focused on three major benefit streams the first of these was incentivized pay through validating the end user through looking at the way they move and the way they walk this allows the right people to be ensured that they're getting their bonus pay and it's not being given to the wrong person. Through that, our model, we reached a 78% success rate and we look to grow that into the 90s with further data modelling. Also look to improve individual employee feedback with their personal dashboard, giving them awareness of illness, ailments and live monitoring of their performance based incentives. Finally, with overview of site health and safety data, we can bring together generalised feedback at supervisor level and give them a really good understanding of why there's different levels of productivity on different days. If we had more time to work on this project, we would have expanded the number of individuals we're able to distinguish between to around 100 and work on the model recognise individuals whilst they're free walking, including having changes of pace. We'd also look to bring in external data sets to include things like automatic incident reporting when the device detects a fall, and we could develop additional features that are included in the dashboard to expand its usability beyond productivity monitoring.